Thanks for logging on to 12news.com. Cameron Cox, Lena Washington, insider Doug Franz, Bradley Beal's press conference. Man, is it like a breath of fresh air to hear somebody again who wants to come to this valley, play basketball, and join this Suns team. Lena, this team is going to be unbelievable. Beal talked about the next chapter in his life. This is a new chapter for him because he's never had something like this before. Been very loyal to Washington, but you could tell Phoenix being with Book and KD and this group. This is where he wanted to be. Yeah, he said he felt like he was being drafted again. <laughs> he just turned 30, so coming off draft day being 19, now coming to his second team in his career here at 30 years old with his family. His wife is excited. His kids were juiced. He said, you know, Deuce said, I want a jersey, Daddy. He's already going to get a jersey. We know. Um, but it's really exciting, the, the energy that he's already bringing in this introductory press conference. He's embracing the role of not being the guy, yeah. the dog, not driving the bus. He's not even wanting to have those conversations because it's going to be a group effort to bring a first championship to this franchise and this city. And Bradley Beal is up for the challenge. And they're one step closer to becoming that championship team with a talent like that on this roster with Book, KD, and DeAndre Ayton, and campaign, yeah. we heard a couple yeah. times. Well, we don't know is back yet, but likely we'll be back. Yeah. Doug, you've heard a lot of day one press conferences. What did you take away from Bradley Beal? Uh, the aura of confidence. He just has an aura about him. Like a and calm. The way yes, it is. yes, a calm confidence. And here's the thing. We know these people as players. We never really get to know them as people when they're on other teams. And you could see family and charity are important. People like me in broadcasting who are jealous of that voice. Oh, my <laughs> goodness, was that fantastic. But he was, Voiceovers and movies. Exactly. Right? <laughs> he, he, he could, so much more you could do financially, Bradley. But what, what I really loved about him was that confidence. Confidence. And you could see he also has no problem if this is what he called Book Nation. And he looked around the arena and said, this is Book Nation. So he's comfortable, as Lena just said, being a dog and also comfortable not really being a cat, but being the small dog <laughs> with the big dogs. The, the, the big thing he talked about is being himself. And that's mm -hmm. what they're asking him to do. They're not asking him to, to change, to be the point guard, to anything like that. They just wanted to be Bradley Beal, which is one of the best scorers in the NBA, one of the best players in this league. Both Frank Vogel, James Jones mentioned that several times that he is that guy we don't know who's going to be the point guard it sounds going to be like by a committee but they all seem to be okay with it right this free-flowing style of offense and when you have those types of players on the floor positionless basketball mm -hmm. not a bad thing when you got all those guys right Lena no absolutely not scoring's not going to be a problem <laughs> I think it's not either with Frank Vogel right? well yeah. hopefully not yeah. yeah hopefully Frank Vogel can bring the most out of DeAndre Ayton and just make this team a real force to be reckoned with but I'm just excited to see how all of these personalities and these talents really mold and mesh together under this new regime with James Jones with Frank Vogel with Matt Ishbia and it's going to be an exciting time right. to be in the valley come fall Doug is our personality here right of so, course, so yeah. Doug how do all these guys guys fit there's only one basketball there's only one basketball but you at least have diva no, I shouldn't even say diva you have alpha males who aren't into their own persona they, they are certainly into winning but Lena's the one that mentioned it this whole thing changes dramatically if Frank Vogel really brings something out of DA that we haven't seen because we've seen great three guard lineups or in KD's point you, you know, three or four as far as his position we've seen that in the past sometimes they mesh sometimes they don't we haven't seen it since the Showtime Lakers when and you've got a big that'll run the floor and play defense, and then you've got all of these wings running down everywhere. When I just talked to Bradley Beal a second ago and asked him to show us his basketball IQ and teach us the point guard position when he's got DA going down the floor and KD and Book on the wings, and you're running a fast break. Even though we all think KD and Book, he looked right at me and said, if the big man makes a rim run, the big man gets the ball. DA can change this whole thing. So it could start plays. with him in a way. Basically. It really could if he wants it to. And we all know we haven't seen that consistently enough to get jacked up. But if we see it now, yes, there's a parade led by Cam Cox going down <laughs> Central. All right, it's never too early to look, about, look forward to a parade. Lena, are they winning yeah. a title? In how, what span of time? I don't, I don't know if it'll happen next year, but if it happens the year after that, if it happens at all in my lifetime as a Phoenician who came to this arena when it was America West Arena, yeah. when it was Dan Marley, Steve Nash, Jason sure. Kidd, I'll be happy. I'll be happy. Yeah. I don't know if it'll happen next year, but again, they are so much closer. It's about being healthy. It's about what sure. the other teams do in free agency. Who else they can add on minimum contracts? Who else contracts? they can add? Absolutely. Building Irving. that bench. Yeah, that was a question <laughs> that James Jones that. did not want to touch. No free shouldn't. agency discussions right now. Yeah. Internal. Yeah. Only reason Kyrie is coming here is to go out to dinner somewhere. <laughs> Doug, are they winning the title next year? There's pressure to do it. I'm I'm to good man you did I should have known the question was coming when you just I'm, asked I'm Lena this way. Uh, I 
I'm going to say no because of health. The answer is yes if they're healthy. Sure. But to say Katie's going to be healthy and Beal's going to be healthy and make sure there's nothing that happens to book, that's the one thing. There is a track history of injury issues with KD and Bradley, and that's the only reason why I would say no. Let's all pray that I'm wrong. But if they are healthy, yeah. if you get 75 games and every playoff game, then my answer changes. I say yes, Suns are 2024 champions. There we go. Enough said. What do you got, Cam? What do oh, you think? I, I, oh, yeah. <laughs> I've been wrong the last two years, so I'm going to reserve. But I'll say this. If they're healthy, it's there's no better lineup in basketball than what the Suns are going to roll out there. No other team in the NBA has three guys on the roster that can each drop 30 every single yes. night. They got Some got two. Most of them have two. But nobody has three. And then if you could roll out DeAndre Ayton like that, it could be a whole new type of basketball we're seeing in Phoenix. The yeah, important one. thing is is having the guys score 30 in an elimination game because Ooh. that has been a challenge and for the last – by 30. <laughs> in the first quarter. <laughs> not be trailing by 30 in the first quarter of an elimination game. All right. So but, yes, we'll, you're right. Point. We'll write those down. Yeah. Thanks for logging on to 12news.com.